Irish culture and music is pretty rare in Taiwan. Here I am in the A8 R Center uh, where there is a display of Irish culture and music. I'm here uh, with curator uh, Darcy, who is uh, uh, organizer of uh, this fantastic exhibition about Ireland. Darcy, how did you come about to arrange an Irish exhibition? I think there is uh, a lot of familiarities in culture of Taiwan and Irish. Uh, for example, uh, they are both island, right? And they are both love music especially. So that's why I want to bring more Irish culture and music to Taiwanese. So let them know and let's, let them love the music and all the scene in Taiwan of the Irish culture. How did you come about to get to Ireland? Because I've heard the Irish music before and I think it's so uh, uh, powerful and very charming. Irish music make me uh, sometimes very calm, uh, peaceful, and sometimes it's very happy because everyone can like uh, has joy to play it and uh, listen. What do you think of Taiwanese people? What will they think about the Irish culture? In my experience, of course from music first, and of course from the Guinness, the bar, and after the drink, they will very enjoy the whole thing. This first time, I felt very happy and happy and fun. I learned the guitar before. I I'm walking into a typical uh, Irish sitting room displayed here. On the wall you will find uh, oil paintings. These are uh, some of the paintings painted by my uh, father-in-law, Jared Gormley. Paintings he done about 500 in total, uh, displaying uh, uh, some of Irish scenery, like the traditional cottage, or here we see Newcastle in County Down with the uh, Sleeve Mountains in the background. Uh, also on display is some typical Irish instruments like the fiddle, the mandolin and a very unusual type of instrument we see here, it's called the spoon. People use those spoons to create a lovely sound which accompanies the Irish traditional instruments. We all know the Scottish bagpipes, uh, the Irish uh, were not uh, quite too happy with the Scottish bagpipes as the Scottish bagpipes are very much restricted in the sound. So they created what is known as the Irish Allen Pipe. The Irish Allen Pipe, uh, the pressure of the wind sack is generated by the uh, blower which is put under the arm. The wind sack is blown up by a bellow against the Scottish uh, uh, pipe uh, where the wind sack is blown up by a mouthpiece. Uh, the alum pipe can achieve much higher pitch sound and that makes that instrument very much compatible to play with other traditional Irish instruments. These are traditional Irish costumes. This one a costume for an Irish dancer. Here we see an Irish kilt. Different to the Scottish kilt, it's a symbol of the sort so it's more religion based. The Irish kilt has also a lot of green against the tweed uh, of Scottish kilt. This is just like being home in Ireland. How many people do you think will, will visit that exhibition? 
we have invite school and uh, of course the people who love Irish music in here to to look at the old uh, exhibition so that's uh, after after they here come here they will bring the very good experience back and of course I believe they will bring their friends here and maybe those Irish, those Taiwanese musicians will learn Irish instruments. Of course, of course. Uh, for example, today there's a lot of musicians come here and to hear the Irish music, and of course they enjoy the dancing part after the the party. So I believe uh, they will to think about if if there is a possible, they will bring Irish music uh, in their create create the creations. In their songs. Uh, we need to let the people in Taiwan know more about the Irish music. Are you getting much support from Taiwan government? Support? Of course, they they were uh, they were very happy and very surprised that Irish music is so in interesting, you know. And they see all oh, can you hear and. Other people here, and they was very surprised of that. Um, of course, they think in the future they will bring other kind of world music here. Of course, and they believe Irish music is the best choice from the first part. I can only agree with you, Darcy. Uh, Ireland is a beautiful country, just like oh. Taiwan. And okay. uh, there's <laughs> Uh, Chinese type of music and Irish music uh, have a lot of similarities. The instruments uh, of China, uh, special instruments, uh, 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 work very well together with Irish instruments. So, would you think a future to get some Taiwanese musician playing traditional Taiwanese instruments together with Irish uh, musician and Irish instruments. Wow, that's very cool. I'm now walking into a typical Irish bar and a lot of Irish writers. Here we see a book from W.B. Yeats, who was actually from Sligo, uh, which is the mid Midwest in Ireland. Very famous uh, author. And in Taiwan's National Taiwan University, they actually have a, a section of Irish writers. And uh, it's again very unique. Not many uh, Asian universities do have Irish writer special section. a dream that I want to bring the Irish culture and music in my venue so let uh, more people to heard the music.